hello friends welcome to the my channel in this video i will show you how to generate or save the pdf report in qt there is a lots of discussion and there is a lots of question about qt reporting module and questions about how to generate and save the pdf reports in qt application so to fulfill this functionality i have downloaded qt rpt library you can also download this library from this link i will add this link in description section you can find on that so, so i have download qt rpt library and its version is 2.1.0 first file is qt binaries it is a pre-built uh, binaries of qt rpt library by use of you can design the your own report as per your need and this is the source code of your qt rpt library to integrate qt rpt function with your application in these binaries you can see the qt rpt designer it is used to design your report as per your need and this is a qt rpt project and its source code to integrate qt rpt functionality with your application so first we have to build this library so just simply copy the path and open the qt and select it i was use qt msvc 2015 64-bit we do not need to build project we just have to build q set int library but before to before the build we just have to include qt painter path header file q painter path header file now just build it first run the qmac then build the this process takes some time So our library was built successfully. You can see both files are built here, and this is a lib files. Now let's simply design the simple report. Open the Qt RPT designer. Add the report title and add the one label. Just write the your message QT with Ketan. Okay, you can also set the required parameter or properties as for your need. Also, set the alignment now. Just simply save this report. Qt with Ketan Qt RPT. Okay, so our report was saved successfully here. Now create a project to use this library Qt RPT tutorials. Okay. Use MSVC 2015 64 bit. You can also change as for your requirement. 
now simply copy our QTRPT project in your project directory now include the QTRPT library from the, your source file QTRPT project in this folder use QTRPT directory in this project you will get .pri file project include file so just simply in copy the name so our QTRPT library is included with in our application so just include the header file qtrpt.h okay let me turn off the shadow build now we have now just copy your report in your application directory okay now let's use this functionality qtrpt report put as a new equal to this okay now load the report load the report write your report name I just write my report name QT with Kitten QTRPT.xml. Now simply call the print execute function. So let's run the application. You can see our print preview dialog, but report was not loaded. Just correct the path. Your core application, application directory path. now run the application you have to provide your report file path here you can see our report was generated successfully in just few step or also you can save the report qt with ketan pdf file you can see PDF file also successfully. You can see. So by use of QT RPT library, you in just few step you can save the report or generate the report. Let's change some. Let edit the file. Open the RPT file, XML file, change the QT tutorials video. Save the file. Now run the application again. You can see the report was successfully updated. 
and also you can save the report file new file okay you can see this pdf file this is old one and this is new one I hope this video is very helpful for you and please drop your comment if you have any question. In next video I will show you how to pass the parameter or pass the value from your Qt application to Qt in your report. Okay and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video. Thank you.